Last month, a rumored series about Rey on Disney Plus attracted attention. It reawakened the animosity between Lucas fans and Disney fans. On the one hand, Raylo celebrated the news as if a premiere date had been announced. They lashed out at their old enemies with vindication. See, see, told you, people love the new trilogy. Sequels rule, man babies drool. On the other hand, Maxes in their wolf costumes roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes as if they'd been sent to bed without supper. They resumed their anti-sequel rhetoric. Rey is a Mary Sue. Kylo is an emo. The legacy characters were ruined. F you, Ryan Johnson. Fortunately, the flashbacks to 2018 didn't last long. The rumor lacked substance. Similar unfounded stories appeared in March, May, and September of 2021. Writers, and I apply the term loosely to such instances, know many Star Wars fans dislike the sequels and react emotionally, almost irrationally, to any suggestion of their continuance. February's article was more clickbait. But is the sequel trilogy dead? I'll present evidence that yes, Disney abandoned it. A decision made but not publicized. Sorry, Raylos. However, I sense a disturbance in the force around two upcoming releases. I'll share my concerns about them during the second half of this video. First, reasons for optimism. Hasbro has manufactured few sequel toys after 2020. Its last standard issue sequel products were a 5 inch Sith Jet Trooper action figure in the Galaxy of Adventures and a 6 inch Dark Side Ray action figure in the Black series. In 2019, The Rise of Skywalker became the lone Star Wars film without a full action figure line. Last year, Lego released a $20 Resistance X Wing Starfighter set and two $5 foil packs in the first quarter. I've seen winter holiday products and a few variety packs since. Yes, you can purchase sequel merchandise at Disney theme parks and stores. I'll discuss the parks as a special case later. Lucasfilm Press hasn't published any sequel content since 2020. The final comic, Allegiance, a four-part miniseries, began and ended in October 2019. The last novel, Poe Dameron Freefall, was released for young adults in August 2020. Nothing beyond. Resistance from Lucasfilm Animation, the first and only sequel show, ended in January 2020. It lasted two seasons. The Forces of Destiny shorts that featured sequel characters ran for less than a year, 2017 to 2018. Disney Plus isn't producing stuff from the era. Ryan Johnson's trilogy will never come to fruition. No video games are being developed. The classic Star Wars logo and The Mandalorian replaced the sequel trilogy for all retail displays and packages in 2020. Luke Skywalker has been redeemed. Grogu's fate doesn't include a vengeful Kylo Ren. J.J. Abrams acknowledged the importance of plans in filmmaking. Having a plan, you know, I have learned in some cases the hard way, um, is the most, you know, critical thing because otherwise you don't know what you're setting up. Disney theme parks are the only locations for sequel support, specifically Galaxy's Edge. A Halcyon comic and other promotional materials appeared recently. Advertisement, not content. I don't think the Star Cruiser will last. Perhaps I should say the sequel-themed Star Cruiser. I believe Galaxy's Edge will be refreshed for the Lucas or Mandalorian era. I look forward to a time when Disney will, with much fanfare, announce renovations. Why did Disney abandon the sequel trilogy? In short, because the corporation is motivated by profit. Sequel products didn't sell, so Disney applied its resources elsewhere. In 2022, the trilogy would fail every long-term market demand projection. Follow the money, it leads to the truth. Disney wouldn't want attention on their reversal until after the sequels have been buried for an appropriate period. Yet despite all the evidence, despite Disney's profit motive, I feel uneasy. Something is out of place. The Kenobi series and a new novel could reverse the reversal. Kenobi will premiere in May. The novel will follow in June. As a fan, I should be excited for both, but have already begun to notice red flags. Previous Kenobi video link in the description. The novel is, in itself, a red flag. I'll read the Google Book synopsis for Shadow of the Sith. Jedi Master Luke Skywalker is haunted by visions of the dark side, foretelling an ominous secret growing somewhere in the depths of space on a dead world called Exegol. 
The disturbance in the force is undeniable, and Luke's worst fears are confirmed when his old friend Lando Calrissian comes to him with reports of a new Sith menace. After Lando's daughter was stolen from his arms, he searched the stars for any trace of his lost child. But every new rumor leads only to dead ends and fading hopes, until he crosses paths with Ochi of Bestoon, a Sith assassin tasked with kidnapping a young girl. Ochi's true motives remain shrouded to Luke and Lando, for on a junkyard moon, a mysterious envoy of the Sith Eternal has bequeathed a sacred blade to the assassin, promising that it will answer the questions that have haunted him since the Empire fell. In exchange, he must complete a final mission, return to Exegol with the key to the Sith Rebirth, Rey, the granddaughter of Darth Sidious himself. As Ochi hunts Rey and her parents to the edge of the galaxy, Luke and Lando race into the mystery of the Sith's lingering shadow and aid a young family running for their lives. So, the sequels survive like Palpatine, somehow. Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> I don't understand the timing. Who asked for this novel? Almost two years have passed without a sequel book. Why now? The answer is probably simple. Disney poorly supervises Lucasfilm, which poorly handles Star Wars. Are we really revisiting the rise of Skywalker's failure? Exegol, the Sith Dagger. Laughable if the new releases didn't threaten to recall the sequels and the animosity of years past. In a strange twist, I'll say it. Let the past die. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Jeff. Check out Galactic Initiative for more interesting Star Wars videos. Galactic Initiative is not authorized or endorsed by Lucasfilm Limited. The name Star Wars and all related materials are registered trademarks of Lucasfilm Limited, a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company, while rights reserved. Galactic Initiative is a registered trademark, and other product and company names are trademarks of their respective holders. Use does not imply affiliation or endorsement.